What's up, guys? We're going over some draft prospects. And today we're going to be looking at Jermaine Johnson, another edge rusher. This one out of FSU. He's a transfer from Georgia. The guy knows how to get after the quarterback. When you see production here, two and a half, four, then 12 when he transferred to FSU. Insane production here. And he's big. Let's put it that way. He is very big. He's got the measurable 6'4", 259, 9, 5 8 and 34 and 3 8 arm length. He's, he's got all the things you want to see. And it looks like it matches with production, but now we get to see it. Number 11 on your screen, just getting after the quarterback. He got three sacks in this game. He just dominated every facet of the game. And break it down plus. I mean, he's got power, speed, length, everything. What do you see? Jermaine Johnson, I mean, he, he's he got the tool set, like you said. I, I love his just get off and, you know, just showing power here. He's just going to run right through the tackle. You know, he's trying to get to the outside. He's just going to push him over and just finish uh, with quickness and violence. Uh, you got to like that. I like the emotion after the play, but this is just literally him saying, get off me. I mean, just stop it. Don't even try and cover me. And bringing down the quarterback, fumble, recovery, FSU football. I like that. I like the emotion behind it. Here we go again, him on the outside, and he's going to win again with a different little move here, a little shimmy, and then swimming over those arms and coming down with another sack. So he's showing you all the ways he can attack you as an edge rusher. What do you like with this one? Yeah, this here is just showing his burst, you know, burst off the line, uh, good sudden movement here to fake inside, then go back outside, good quick hands to get over the offensive tackle here, just swiping that arm away, and then finishing with good balance and, and attacking the quarterback. Yeah, and there's a plan behind his movements here. Like, look at this immediate jab inside. Watch this little foot jab in just to get the tackle a little bit, thinking, oh, I could be going in. Just that one subtle inside step by that tackle already enough where he can get that one arm. Even he's trying to come back and save himself by getting that outside shoulder. Not enough. Like you said, balance, bringing him down. So there's a lot of, like, fine critique things. And then look at this little home run shot. <laughs> I love his celebrations. Now, I love the timing burst. Checking him out, getting low before he's about to burst through right at the at the tackle here. Doesn't initially win. Try to win with, win with power, but it doesn't matter. Motor, energy, you're coming down. I got my third sack of the game. What do you like? Here, I just really like that he keeps his head up. You know, head up. He's, he's seeing the football here. He obviously doesn't win with that move he was trying to execute, but he does enough to get off the tackle and then finish the play. So that's really nice. Kind of tosses him aside and then finishes for the sack. So really good stuff there by uh, Jermaine. That's an awesome name too, Jermaine Jermaine Johnson. And getting upfield, to me, he's not the best true speed edge rusher. He's winning more with technique and just a game plan of how I want to attack this guy. I mean, uh, there's always these pure edge rushers that literally just win – immediately lightning off the off the snap he's winning with skill plan just look at this the arm talent just getting around i like it what do you like i would agree yeah he's definitely a technician so far right now definitely has a good game plan like you said to beat these offense alignment and obviously he's doing that you know now it's just about uh coming down to finishing uh more consistently and obviously he did for most of the season getting 12 sacks which is you know a remarkable feat in itself but here, you know, just showing that plan, a nice little hop step here out to the outside. You know, we've seen that before as Bucks fans with Shaq Barrett and, you know, just couldn't really finish. So really, it's just about, you know, him developing that balance around the edge a little bit more consistently, using his legs a little bit more um, here. You know, this is going to be nice here as he's going to use the long arm here and then cut it back inside. So really good stuff here. Um, just has to be a little bit more consistent with uh, getting that drive through. Yeah, look at the long arm Consist consistency. So you've seen so many moves. You've seen three or four legit moves. And look at the power to drive through. This guy is obviously bigger than him, but the length and then the leg drive to get this guy all the way in the back backfield hitting the, the quarterback with him. I mean, that that's talent, that's strength. That's a, and then the guy thinks, oh, he could be winning with speed. Now I'm going to go right through. Hey, this guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox, and he uses them on a frequent basis. Look at this one again. Break this one down. Yeah, here, you know, trying to do a bull rush, you know, using that length like we talked about, you know, that's important. So really, it, it, it's good to see that he's not doing the same thing over and over. He's switching it up, trying to be versatile, trying to get the offensive lineman to think about more than just one move so he can set him up later in the game. 
you know, here, you know, doing a good job of using that extension and then ripping those hands down and, and getting off the offense alignment. You know, that's that's good stuff right there. And a lot of guys don't know how to disengage. They got their one move, like you're saying. This guy's got plenty of moves, and then he knows how to disengage to kind of continue to get after the quarterback and stay in the play. And here again, he doesn't just rely on one simple move. There's there's so many things you got to think, what is this guy going to bring at me? And that's, that's scary when you think about it. And he's coming out of the out of college into the NFL. So he's not going to be a one-trick pony. He's got a little bit of everything. And that only makes him that much better. And how they use him, Joe Tryon Shoenka, a guy that's on the Buccaneers right now. They use him outside, just shadowing quarterbacks. And then you can use him in the stunt game inside. When you're that big, you could be used anywhere. And this is a Swiss Army knife right there, right here. So, guys, very high talented guy and not getting talked about. He is now because the senior bowl, but I like it a lot. Tell me more. Yeah, definitely like it a lot. You know, like you said, the versatility, the ability to play inside or outside. And, and do different things now here, you know, just getting off blocks in the, um, you know, getting after the quarterback quickly here, just faking a little outside move, then going inside. So again, we, we talked about how setting up these offensive linemen, he's doing that um, here as we get later in the game, showing different moves here, spin move again, not the greatest spin move, but he's showing it to display it. Um, and then here, you know, coming again off the edge, just really nice showing an outside spin move that time. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to like with uh, Jermaine. And on the running game, awareness of what's happening. Usually guys straight after the quarterback, right? No, know your gap, know your assignment. Literally, he's just sticking there, and guess what? You're going to make a play. And then the speed to make a play. The end around right here, not a chance. Not a damn chance. Just talent off the charts. Give me more. This is very important, you know, just ability to – be smart football player. I think that's a lot of things. That's one aspect that gets missed often. And it, it's a big factor because are these guys intelligent to, you know, stay in their assignment, know their assignment, and then execute the play. And, and Jermaine usually does that quite often, as you see here, just not trying to do too much. He doesn't go for the fake, goes for the running back and makes the play. So guys, with that said, let us know what you guys think about Jermaine Johnson out of FSU. I think he's one of, the top pass rushers in, in this class and, and should be something to look out for. Uh, so please give us a like, comment down below what you think of them. And with that said, until the next one.